Department of Finance Information, Department of Finance, Payroll and Health Insurance, Computer Operations, 105, but this is also called the Human Resources. So let's go in. Hello. Uh, it's going, it's going. Is uh, Miss Mary Ann here by any chance? Ah, uh, okay. All right, is, is it okay if I drop off um, a couple of complaint forms that I have? Yeah, of course. All right, awesome. Right on our desk for you. Perfect. Can I get your name? Yeah, my name is uh, William Coppola. William Coppola? Yeah. My name is Daniel. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Awesome. I'm going to set this down. Sounds good. What do you mean? So, Mr. Coppola, what's your title here? What's that? Your title. What, what is it? Uh, benefits clerk. Benefits clerk? Yeah, I handle the benefits. Yeah, I'm enrolled in Okay. Like that. All right, awesome. Sounds interesting. Yep, yeah. I just started recently. It's oh, you just started? Yeah. Oh, man, perfect. Two months ago, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So oh, that's well. good. Well, okay, I'm saying you just started, you already got a good reaction. Yeah. When I'm filming. That's the reaction okay. you're supposed to get. Yeah. You know I mean, just, just be yourself. Yep. You know? yep. Don't let it don't let it all bring the negative. Oh, out of you. Yeah, tr- Trust me, it, it's happened here. Oh, yeah. I mean, not here, not in this particular yeah. office. Yeah. So you good money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So the day uh, I've already put one here personally yeah. with Miss Marianne. Yeah. Um, so she did tell me, you know, where things needed to go and stuff. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure everything yeah. was completed, which I did yeah. double and triple check this. Yeah. So I'm sure. That so was it's all set. Yeah, it's all set. We're married. I'll let you know. We're going to stop at the mayor's office and make an appointment because they they're not making an appointment for me. They won't set up an appointment. They're not returning my calls. Board and meeting room. There's the council members. This is Thomas Edison. So up here's the mayor. Hello. Sure. I'm going to go to lunch. Um, if you need me, just call me. Or I can check back when I can do that. Okay. All right. Great day. I'll see you later. I'll check back. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. Ms. Jennifer, I take it, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, I'm just here to make an appointment with the mayor. I've called you guys quite a few times. You guys never call back to make an appointment. Uh, I'll wait for you to get off your phone. <laughs> you off your phone yet, or? Yeah. Oh, I know, cause yeah, I w- cause you weren't looking at me. I wasn't sure if you were paying looking attention. Down at my desk. Well, no, no, you were just yeah. holding your phone. I, I just saw you with your phone in your hand, but it's you your- have your phone in your hand, right? Yeah. Well, you're at work and you're violating your policy, so. No, I'm not. No, <laughs> I'm that's pretty part sure of my policy. To be on your phone while I work. Why are you so argumentative? I'm not argumentative. I'm just trying to I find just out. I don't understand. You want to accuse me of being argumentative. Can we just make an appointment, please? You can certainly do that. Yes. Oh, you mean finally? So finally I can make an appointment? I can take your information. (laughs) Finally. Okay. I always take your information. But you don't make the appointment. If you have no business here. (laughs) What? And you're going to argue I just told you that I I have. If you have a hard time, you can leave. I know. I will not. Because I have business here. I do not give you permission. I have business here. To post me on your your webpage. Don't need it. Don't need it. Sorry. I am not <laughs> authorizing you. Okay. You make me uncomfortable. I make you uncomfortable. And I would appreciate it if you left. Okay. So because you have no business here. So here's what. What is your business? I told you, and then you told me I don't have business here. After I told you what I'm here for, I got time. You got time because you're on your phone messing around. So can is you? Is that what I'm doing? That's what Are you, you were doing. Are you accusing me of something? I'm accusing you of being on the phone. Yes. Really? Yes. You were on your phone. Really? Yes. So. Please check the calendar. What I do, <laughs> what my job is, yep. and my job description mm-hmm. is irrelevant of what you're doing oh, here. Oh, okay. You have no <clears throat> idea what I do and why I use my phone. And that upsets me, offends me. Mm. Okay. And you're the face that, that the people, the citizens come in and, and, and have to see and deal with? Wow. And, and this the treatment that we get? No, this is, <clears throat> this is not the treatment. Oh, oh, just for me? 
just for me. You because know what that's called, right? you are right? harassing me. Oh, not really. Do you yes, know you what are. By asking you for an appointment? No. Ah, no. Come on You're now. doing more than that. Come on now. Let's not, let's not, let's not make stuff up. Yeah. Miss I don't need to. You're doing let's it right not. now with your phone. Not really. You're doing I it right now in, with your phone. I came in because I have a right to. Remember. I told you. <clears throat> I told you <clears throat> yep, mm-hmm. that I would take your information. Please lower your voice. And your phone number. Please lower your voice. And we would have someone get back to you about making. And you guys appointment. keep doing that. Well, I'm not going to. Ex- I, I don't know what else to tell you. That's how it works. Do you have a license to oh, film? Oh, Are you, you a journalist? I, I need a license. You need to have a license if you're going to oh. publicize this. Oh, you need to have a license. Mm. You have no. You're you unfamiliar. have no press. Credentials? Is that what you want to say? Credentials? Yeah. That's yeah. what you're looking for. Who gives out credentials? The press. The press. They have to. By law. <laughs> By law. By you law. Have to. Okay, you yes. mean like you mean like you Fox News? That? You mean like Fox News? Do you have that? You mean like Fox News, CNN? Journalists. That you talk Every about? Every journalist oh. has to provide documentation. No, that's not true. That They're is ill-informed. actually by Ill-informed. law the truth. By law? Mm. Sounds very interesting. It Can is you do me a favor? And it's a fact. It's not a fact. It Can is you do a me a favor? That is a fact. And stop. This man is now telling me that he does not have mm. to provide any information or legal documentation mm. that he is associated with the press you know you have a right to freedom of the press as well right when you're not working no right no, no you not do. To do what you're e- doing. everybody has a not right to, to freedom of the doing. press what am i doing trying to conduct business and no you're, you're not and you're keeping What's me from that business? you came i'm here, trying to make an appointment. an appointment see you actually don't even know that i can't i stopped at other locations before yep. coming here to conduct business yep. okay uh, uh, and i'm forced i'm done. forced yeah i know everybody's fully aware because you guys put on a show that's what it is. is. That what it yeah, is? You, that's what you guys did. You guys put on a show, especially you. Mm-hmm. You're going to be the, the highlight yep. of this and not in a positive way. Yeah. Okay? I am telling you for the. Which, and I'm going to publish this. I'm going to publish time. this I'm, just so you know. You will publish all of them. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Yeah. So you can tell me you don't want it. All I do you not want. give you permission don't to need it. post me don't in, need it. in this position. Don't need Absolutely it. Absolutely not. Don't need it. But if you're willing right. to take this appointment, well, I'm willing to leave. That's fine. Because I'm ready to leave. But I just. Oh. I'm leaving to go do something in another building. <laughs> okay. Therefore, you need to come with me awesome. and leave. Awesome, of course. Because there's nobody else here. Why would I stay? Right? That has nothing to do with anything. No, it does because you're locking the door. I'm not going to stay. I'm not going to have somebody come in here when no one's here. The bathroom? Yeah. Um, So it looks like Miss Jennifer is nice to everyone but me. Oh, I didn't. Oh no, of course not. I'm not harassing anyone. I'm actually waiting for your response. If anyone's harassing, not really. Not really. Miss, I was walking. I'm actually walking, and I stopped right here, so you need to calm down. I'm just standing here. I am just standing here. Wow. I didn't know this at the time, but the secretary to the mayor is married to Schenectady Police Chief Eric Clifford. After a little investigating, I found out that in 2018, the chief of police was named in a lawsuit along with officers Jonathan Moore, Derek Sherman, Kevin Durkowski, and 12 others that were named as John Doe's. According to the suit, Schenectady police showed up at the Sheridan home in September of 2014 searching for a fugitive in the area. Police found the man walking down the street. They chased and arrested him. A bystander started recording the incident and captured the rest of the incident. After the man was arrested, the officers returned to the Sheridan house, physically manipulated Denise Sheridan, and placed her into custody, having committed no crime nor given any reason for such actions. Police took her to the police station and ultimately released her without charging her. The three-minute-long video shows Schenectady officers approaching Denise Sheridan in a driveway, restrain her, and place her in handcuffs on the lawn. Ronald Sheridan is seen running back onto the home's porch, and the officers then grab him and take him to the porch floor. Two officers walk Ronald Sheridan down the porch stairs and near the videographer. 
Ronald Sheridan can be heard saying, that this guy right here punched me right in the head. A second man is also seen being led off the porch in custody. At the time of Lieutenant, Eric Clifford addresses the videographer who was on the sidewalk near the house. Clifford tells the videographer, this kid is under arrest for resisting arrest. I'll have to take that as evidence if you don't keep going. You're documenting evidence right now. Police charged Ronald Sheridan with a crime, but the charge was dismissed in the interest of justice. The city council approved a $500,000 settlement agreement in 2022. The city claimed no responsibility for the couple's 2014 arrest. Where are you Corporation Council. Corporation Council? Oh. Any idea of what you're planning? Nope. Again? Citizen. Listen. Listen. Hey. You guys know who I am. Oh, take your stuff. You're not, you're not allowed in the building at this time. Why not? There's an investigation up on you with the DA's office. About? That I don't know. Well, I'm here to serve uh, a, a notice of intent to sue. So I have a right to be here. I, so I, can you call uh, Andrew? No, 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 no. We don't Dan, want to trust you. Yeah, I'm Dan, not trust you. So they they, they, they told us to call. tell you, if you have any questions, to call or go to the DA's office. And they'll, they'll okay. explain everything to you. That's fine. I'm going to do that. But can you just give uh, Andrew Colding no, and can't, let man. him know Danny, I'm here? Because I, I have a right to, to serve you guys. <clears throat> I understand all that, but it's suspended for right now pending the investigation. I don't... You know that a judge hasn't given me any... any uh, Notice saying that I can't come in here. We're, we're giving you notice now. But where's the paper? I don't okay. like having who are they didn't you? give us any Stephen paper. Steve Sheldon. Sheldon? Yes. Stephen Sheldon. Right. And we were instructed by the chief of patrol that there's an active investigation with you or for going on with you with the DA's office, and you're not allowed in the building at this time. But what's that got to do with here, though? I'm, I'm confused. I, like, I'm whatever explaining it because whatever the investigation is, it may be stemming from this building. I don't know. I don't know. That's why you have to get a hold of the DA's office. So, I, I don't know. I don't know the details, buddy. I really don't. You just give them a call and see what they got to say. Okay, that's fine. But but can you be also be kind and at least let Andrew know? Because maybe he'll come down here. He won't. And take the. They, I'm not talking to you. I know, but he's he's right. They, they won't. You're not allowed to. I'll, I'll let him know that you were here, though. I will let him know that. So you guys are keeping me from this building. You, you can't, you can't come in the building, Danny. Okay. To give them a call and find out what's going on. And you said your name was? Steve Sheldon. All right, and you said that, that Andrew Colden himself or the DA told you guys not to let me in? We were instructed, okay, by the Chief of Patrol that there's an ongoing investigation with you at the DA's office. And until that investigation is done, you're not allowed in the building. Mm -hmm. Call the DA's office and find out what's going on. I don't know the details, uh, okay? Thank you. Dan, you don't leave the building. We're going to call the police department and lock it up. Don't threaten me, please. I'm waiting for somebody. Look, calm down. I'm waiting for, for Miss McCutcheon to come down. I just spoke to her over the phone. So calm down. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but I want to say it has to do with her trying to. I don't have nothing to say to you, man. I don't know what you're here for. I didn't call you. I have legal business. You go talk to them then, and you better not let them make a false report this time. All right? He got an order not to be in the building at all. Is it at all or just for? At all. Okay. Orders. I thought he. And if they said if he does not leave. Yeah. Call the police. Okay. What did he say his functions is supposed to be? Because I thought it was, he, he can be here as long as it's legitimate no, business. He had, uh, Do you know where the order is? He had an encounter with Chief Sievers, or not Sieber, um Clifford's wife yeah, yeah. upstairs. Yep. All right. So they got an order that the mayor does not want him in the building. Okay. He's supposed to go talk to the DA. There's an investigation on him. Okay. Um, all right, let me look at to see what this order says. Uh, so, so you're leaving, right? Dude, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I'm right here discussing with Miss McCutcheon, who's being awesome to me. Okay, I don't even know about no order of protection or nothing, man. Okay, so go do your job, but I'm not going to help you with the investigation. So, 
Okay. Your business done here with so I'm I'm okay. taking care of it right now. You gotta go. Okay. Here we go. Daniel, yeah. you know, here's your stamp copy of that one. Okay. This one. And this one. Awesome. And you have my card. Thank you. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I'm, the, the call wasn't for me. I'm talking to him on a different separate issue. Oh, okay. You're really intimidated, so I'm just asking you to do so. Fair enough. So you're, you you're welcome. 2029. 2029. Thank you. I was here. I witnessed the situation. Thank you, sir. So you're welcome. Well, one moment. Do you know uh, what um, it is? Yes. He, is he allowed to come in here on official business? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because um, they're saying that he's not, so I don't know. Am I intruding an investigation? I thought, I don't. I thought, give us one second, man. No I thought his I order is, as long as he's here on a legitimate business, he can come in here. Correct. Yes, that is correct. Right. That is correct. That's, That's what I thought. That's against the yep. law. What does he have oh, to do he, uh, here? Hello. I don't know what, he already did his business with someone up in court. These, these, these. These the detail, they don't know. What, they think he comes in. He can come in. He can come in. He can come in. He can come in. As long as he has to do official business, he can come in. Yep. Right. Um, okay. Yep. Hey guys. Good. How are you? Hey. How you doing? I know Ricky just talked to you guys, I'm sure. Did Ricky talk to you? He came in a bit of a problem with somebody. So, um, Wimple, I guess the assistant chief in charge you guys now, told us there's an ongoing investigation with Corporation Township on the DEA's office into him. So until that's resolved, he's no longer allowed in the building. Hmm. So that's why we brought him in here. This is the first time he's been notified. I don't think we'll have a problem with him again after that. The girl, she just wanted to stick her nose in. Yeah. I don't know what her, her business was. You got an idea about her? What? Yeah, so we were told and through emails that if he has any questions, to call the DA's office and explain everything to him about him. And I told him that. Okay. Um, you know, I, and then some lady came down from the office and started catering to him. Yeah. Trying to get him out of here. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. Well, because I know that I know that he has City Hall has an order against him. More protection. Yes. He, from or? He's only he can only come into this building if he is here for official business. Okay. They told us he was not allowed in the building. Period. So I'm I'm keen to straighten it out with. Yeah. If if it's because of the ongoing investigation, then yeah. then I get that. Right. Um, but outside of that ongoing investigation, he is allowed to be in here. Okay. He is. All right. So I don't want to, I'm not going to go against whatever Chief Whipple said, whatever the emails you have, I guess I'll advise him that that's, that's if he has any. Law, so I'll go yeah. by what you said. I mean, well, you know better than me. For now, I, for now, if that's what you were told by Chief Whipple, then I'm going to go by that. So I'll tell him that it's, if he has any questions, he can contact the DA's office. Okay. That's, that's what I told him. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Then, you know. Contact the DA's office and explain everything to him. Okay. Uh, and he's like, well, I'm allowed to go file paperwork. I says, that's not what I'm told. I said, we're not allowed in the building until that investigation is done. Okay. All right. So. All right. I'll try and reiterate that to him. That way there's yeah. no more issues in here. So what do you want us to do? Wants, if he comes back, let us let him end. No. I mean, if Chief, Whip, if Chief Whipple is saying. Right. Um, somebody's got to. Somebody's got to clear it up, though, right. because I don't. Right. You know, as far as I, I just told Ricky that he's allowed to come in here prior to speaking to you. He's allowed to come in here if he has paperwork or whatever business he needs to conduct. He's allowed to do that. Um, right, let me call Kane and he can call and they can work it out. Okay. I, I know. Put you guys in a spot doing this asshole thing. It is what it is. Yeah, I know. Well, he, yeah, he, he left. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go and tell him that. Right. Um, but I guess for for right now, until it gets clarified, I would probably say no. I would say no, because that's what if that's what Whipple is saying. Then I'm gonna go by that as well. That's okay. I'll call Ken right now just to clarify. Okay. In a gray area, I guess. Yeah, I don't either. I don't either. Daniel, so there's a little curveball now that needs to be figured out between you, the DA's office, 
I don't know what the curveball is. Can you explain? Yeah. So apparently there's some type of ongoing investigation with Corporation Counsel, the DA's office, and yourself. <laughs> about? Uh, I'm, about? I, I don't know. Okay. I do not know. And neither did the security guys. So come on now. How could they enforce something when they know nothing about it? Think about it. And you know what I did? I tried to de-escalate the situation. I told them, like, look, before I go, can you please call Andrew Colden from Corporation Counsel or Miss McCutcheon? You know what I mean? They weren't trying to do that. I had to come out here and make the call myself. I'm going to try and figure out some of it for you. I hope so. From what these gentlemen told me in here, they were directed to have you call the DA's office to see what the stipulations are. I, but I don't care. Call. I told them, look, even though I'm telling you I don't care, I listened to them. I heard everything they said. I said, okay, no problem. I'll do that. And then I told them or asked them nicely, can you please just have, let them know I'm here because I need to serve them. I have a right. That's fucking business. Okay, serving someone yeah. a notice of intent to sue is business. I, okay, yep. if I wanted to file, if this second I wanted to file a foil, right all of a sudden I wanted to file one, I can go right, right fucking now and do it. Because okay, because I have a right. Now here's the thing, the things that you guys don't know is this is business. Freedom of the press is business. So if I go in there and I don't give a shit if I don't need to file a foil or anything else. I don't yeah? know if I will go and do See? that though. No, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to rely on you, you. To, to, to respect the, the oath that you took, I'm not. Because okay. you're gonna just fucking fall in line with all these other tyrants. Okay, flip it back to me and talk to me. I okay. can talk to whoever I want. I, Remember, I, know, I, I can know. talk to whoever I, I want. I know, but I've been nothing but honest with you and decent yep. with you. Yup, and I've been nothing but honest and decent with you. But yeah. with him, it's a different story. He's violated my rights. You think I'm gonna show him respect? After I was unlawfully kept out of the city hall, I went to Schenectady District Attorney's office to speak with District Attorney Robert Carney about the conspiracy to violate my rights. He was unavailable, so I left him my contact information, and as expected, he never called me to discuss the matter. After some investigating into the mayor, I discovered that he started his career as a chief investigator at the district attorney's office and worked there for 30 years. Is this why he feels he's above the law? Before my next visit, I questioned him about the night he chased a woman from his home in Glenville. Hey, Mayor, can we talk about the uh, Instagram post you put up uh, last right Super Bowl? Now. Looks like you have a moment before you go around the corner. Or maybe you can answer some questions about the... Uh, the chase that you were in. A bizarre car chase last spring involving Schenectady Mayor Gary McCarthy and a resident of the city launched a months long investigation. He's right on my Please, I hope somebody can stop him. He's right behind me, he's pulling up. He's right in front of me. He's blocking me off, sir. Sir. Sir, it's a black truck. He's blocking me. Where's the cops? I didn't do anything wrong. He, he came up right behind me on a street. He goes, pull over right now. I'm calling the cops. I said, I'm not pulling over. You're not a cop. He goes, I'm the mayor of Schenectady. Please, why? I really want to know why there's no cops here right now. Can you go inside, ma'am, or no? No, I'm not getting out of my van. He doesn't want to go. Crazy. He was He's drunk. Why aren't the cops out here? He's intoxicated? He's intoxicated. Yes, please. Sorry. I can smell the alcohol from here. Police reports released today reveal four out of five responding officers did not believe McCarthy to be drunk, although the fifth officer said he smelled alcohol and observed him to be acting out of character, at times even crying. How you doing today? Not too bad. How are you? Good. How can we help you? I have court. You have court? Yep. There. I don't have anything metal on me. Just this. Put that down. We'll put it in the box. Yeah, I don't want to put it in the box. It'll break. Thank you, sir. Yep. Get it through. Walk you through. Come on through. Good. Thank you. Uh, I need to be walked up? Yes. Why? Because of the... Uh I'm not sure what was described to you earlier. Yes, sir.
You have the time by any chance? Uh, 9.49. 9.49. Awesome, so I got time. You have to go directly to the court. Yes, I'm, I have to go where? You said you have to go to court. No, you said I have to go directly to the court. Yeah, yeah, if you visit this court, that's what they told us. When you come in here, you have to go That's what they told you? Yes, who's right. they? I'm sorry, who's they? The chief of police. Chief of police has no right to tell me where I can and cannot go. And who are you again? Also Wager? Wager yeah. What's your first name? Wager. No, what's your first name? Give me my name. Okay, I, 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 I can foil, foil. I already have. Good. I already and have. And you know when, okay. So where are we going? Well, I'm going wherever I'm able to go, publicly accessible areas, unrestricted, without being harassed. No problem, right? So, uh, chief of police is, is, is what you're telling me who told you to violate my rights? That was is that what you're saying? Given that you, it's because of some pending investigation that I don't really know about. And so, do you have a judge's order saying that I cannot be in here? No, I have a direct order. Okay, so the chief is nobody. Okay, go ahead. Okay, he doesn't have a Listen, right. we're done talking. Are we? Do your business. Are go we ahead. done talking? So walk away. No, I'm, I'm not walk. keeping you I'm from... I'm going to escort you, boss. Let's you can escort whoever you want, but it's not going to be me. I'm going to walk freely at my leisure. It doesn't say private. It doesn't say employees only. You can't enter. I'm Who, telling you. Why? Because the order what we law, have. What penal, what penal law is that? That's a directive I have and I'm telling you that. What, uh, where's the paper? Show me the paper, sir. If you could show me the paper, then I'll leave. Because right now you're violating my First Amendment right, freedom of the press, okay? You're also violating New York penal law, okay? Section 240.65, unlawful prevention of access to public records. A good cop's worst enemy are people like you, a bad cop, all right? Because I'm not against cops. I'm not against the police. I'm against bad policing. Okay? That's what I'm against. And bad police, crooked cops, they don't like transparency. I said, you want business? We'll do it. Right? I'm doing business. No, it's not the way you do it, though. It's the way everybody else gets to do it. Right? Am I, is, do I, I have equal rights as everybody else, correct? Do I not have equal rights? We we'll want to accommodate. No, accommodate. Are you? So let me inside. Let me inside and give me the equal rights that other citizens have, that all the citizens of the United States have. Because you're taking that from me. It looks like you're drawing a crowd, man. You gonna let him in? So we're gonna, we're gonna see how he lets them in, right? He's not violating their rights. He's, he's allowing them to go inside. But I can't. So let's see. Let's see if I can go in. Okay. See, you're making it clear. You might want to look behind you. Yeah. See, you're so focused on me that you're not worried about your surroundings. She's still behind you. Would you like to get through, ma'am? Yes. Yeah. Well, to ask him. He's, he's the one who's being disorderly. Yeah, I'm going to apologize for his behavior. Yeah, you're blocking the way. You want to stop being disorderly? Stop blocking the way. Move to the side. Let the citizens pass. How's it going? Can you uh, please identify yourself? Sergeant Joseph Gatta. Joseph Agati? Gatta. Gatta. Yep. Joseph Gatta. Badge number, please. Huh? Badge number 2111. Yep. What is the ultimate goal here? I, I my ultimate, here, right? I'm not hanging out. Did you not hear just what he said? Yeah. He just said that I'm trying to go to the clerk's office. And could, why not? Why not, though? Ex Do, Do, yeah. Is that a court right. order? If you want to talk to anybody, no, no, hold on. I'm asking you though. Is there is there a court order saying I'm not allowed to be in here, unless I'm conducting business? If you didn't allow, we're not allowed. Anybody. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Can you please identify yourself, please, sir? Dallas Andros. Badge number six one. You said. Awesome. And you? Forty. Forty. And Burke. Yes, Burke. Okay. And badge number forty. So, so here's the, here's the thing, here's the thing. What staff member do you need to talk to? So you're gonna you're gonna help me because he's not helping me. 
He okay. said that he's willing to get a staff member to talk okay. to you. Okay, so I, why are you telling me I have to? Well, you don't even have paperwork yourself stating that what he's saying. Okay. He says the assistant chief of police, yep. Brian Whipple, right? Yes. He's the one who says that, yes. right? Where's the paperwork saying that? I don't care around all of our Well, then you should, I would, I'm going to need you, right, to do what you normally do is investigate, okay, and find out if there is such order. I am. I'm because, with you are. okay, so I know you are. I know you are. So, it's I'm, I'm trying, it's verbal. See what I mean? Okay. It's, it's, it was never told to me, it's told to them. I was never mailed anything. It's not legal. Okay, but they're not it's not legal. You in any of the offices. But you, they have no right. You know what they're doing, right? No, they're violating my right. Do you know the oath you took, right? This one right here? They, they have Sir, the I'm sorry. Right sorry. No, the they don't. I, I have the same equal rights as every other citizen here. Okay. I'm trying to go upstairs. Like, well, I have a right to. Listen, see what I mean? What, but where paperwork are they showing me? They're not providing anything. For what? I haven't done anything. If you're, if you, hold, can I speak? If you're, that's not, a, uh, it's not lawful. It's not lawful. I have a right to go into the city's clerk just like everyone else, okay? What's the issue? Tell me. The issue is that you can conduct your business, but over there. See, now you're restricting my movement, telling me where I can go in a public space. You're violating my rights. It's not going to happen. Okay. You're either going to get the clerk. You, yeah, we will see. You're either going to get the clerk, right, yes, and have them have help me. No, there. I don't have to go anywhere. Stop violating my rights. To, they're not going to allow you in the office. So what? I have a right to be anywhere, anywhere else. I feel like conducting my business. No, you don't. I, well, who says? Is there an order who says? See? Uh, what, is there an order of protection? Is there? Why don't you investigate? Why don't you investigate? We can have the clerk or so office. Feel come free. Down here. Have yeah, feel, have her come down. Awesome. We gotta go over there. And I'm gonna this. I'm gonna be wherever is legal. I have a Where right to be here. Is over there. Look, we can speak to Andrew Colden too. He's the law department. He is corporation counsel. Okay? I, I, ask him if I'm violating any laws. I'm not. You guys are violating my constitutional rights for what? Over feelings? Come on. Over feelings? Because you guys don't like me, you made it clear yourself you know who I am. Yeah, I'm going to be right here. I, I need to hear this conversation because it's about me. All right, well, as long as the officer's next to you, that's... And I can go anywhere I want in a public space. So, you mind uh, not restricting my movement? They're talking right now. And? You can stay right in a public space. That's what they're talking, right? Think about what you're saying. Boy. Good. So, um, marriage license application. Yes. Okay. And why can't I go in there in person? Because um, you don't need to. Why? Because we're, we're, we're providing you the service by giving you what you're looking for. Well, technically, you would be providing it if I went in without being harassed and I got the paperwork. I, I disagree. But, okay. okay. All this could have been avoided if you would have just left me alone instead of you wanted to harass me, you wanted to be disorderly, disturbing my peace. And I'm surprised from someone from Corporation Council that would uh, agree with the treatment that I'm receiving here. I, I thought, know, I, I, thought I thought at me as a citizen would have equal rights as everyone else, as any, any other citizen. You're being provided the level of service but that not, you need. No, you no, not asking all the that. level of service you're I gaining, need. And he made it clear right then and there that he had an issue with me being here because of uh, Chief of Police Brian J. Whipple and because of an investigation uh, that you, Corporation Council, from what I was told, hey, he's right here, speak to him for yourself. Corporation Council, the District Attorney, all right, and who else? And yeah, City Hall, I believe. Oh, Chief of Police, excuse me. So that's three people conspiring against my rights, because that's what you're doing. And you should know that, Corporation Council, remember that, Law Department, that's what you are. You can believe what you want to believe. Inspiring. I haven't talked to the DA's office I, about you. So well, I didn't, I didn't say it was you. I never said specifically. Well, you, said, you said the Corporation Council's office. Yes, so exactly. Office. It could have been anybody. Office. It could have been Ms. McCutcheon. It could have been the other two assistants that you have. Don't you have two assistants or four? Okay, because you're the head. See what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I've done the FOIA request. I know who works here. Okay, you're not the only one in the Corporation uh, Council Law Department. Correct? So if it wasn't you, it was somebody. Because I was told by them last time I was here. Hey, Chief. Oh, yeah. So he's allowed in the building. He's not allowed to record. In case they have some legitimate business purposes for the chief of police. Special, I think. 
Okay. Okay. Alright, and if he refuses? If he refuses, then he can be arrested. Okay, perfect. For the violating, you know, for, um, the year recording. Okay. But he can record, you know, that we need to be allowed to record up to the, the, um, security, security post? Security, but when, when it comes to the yes. Okay. So if, uh, it, would it just be trespassing? I don't, I don't know what law it is that, like... I don't, I don't know what the law is for not being able to record. I know there's like a, I know there's like something that the court officers do, but I don't know what that is. Yep. Good Here's job. the paperwork. Good job. You okay. did great. I have official word great. on everything that you're allowed to do. Do you understand? Don't care because I know my rights. <laughs> okay. So, what we gonna say here? Oh, so he's allowed to be anywhere. Say something. Oh, can you could tell me the incident number, please. Okay, you are allowed to be incident anywhere number. you want in the building. I don't want to you hear You cannot that. record in here anymore. So, I can't record in here anymore. No. You, That's you, what you guys are saying. I'm telling you, you can't record past <laughs> that area. Right Who said there. that to you? Though? I'm just curious. The chief of police. The chief Eric Clifford. Yes. The chief of police stated yes. that I am not allowed. To you can only here. record in City Hall up until the security entrance, and then nowhere beyond. So where's the statute for that? Huh? What federal statute? What written law? I'm just, I'm, I'm, just no, I'm just curious. Yeah. I'm just curious. Okay. What law is that? I'll, I'm gonna find out soon. I just yeah, got word see, from the So chief. you're just making up. I'm shit. not making up anything. <laughs> you're a clown. Man. Okay. Uh, Please. I'm, I'm are you done here then? Uh, do not rush me. Are you I'm done talking, here then? Conducting business still. Go. Stop touching me. Keep walking. Stop touching me. Keep walking. I'm walking. Keep walking. I'm walking. Keep walking. I'm walking. You want to intimidate people? Keep walking. Go ahead. Back up. You're not walking at back all. Back up. Nope. Back up. No. You back, back up. up. That's the entrance. You're in my space. Yeah, Turn you, around. You're in my space. Your business is over. You're in my space. Turn around. Back the fuck up. Turn around. Yo. Get off me. Fuck off Thank me. you. Go. Fucking Go. Go. Don't touch me. I'm telling you. You don't make anyone You're nervous. Fucking, I don't have to. Okay, it's because you got a gun and a badge, right? Go. You're a fucking criminal go. with a badge. Go. You're setting a bad go. example for your, your fucking, your, your teammates, man. Okay. Go. Fucking clown. You see that, right? You guys see that for yourself. Violating my Fourth Amendment rights. Okay. Violating my First Amendment rights. Keep going. Violating my Fourteenth Amendment rights. Okay. Section one. Tyrant. How many fucking violations are you committing right, right now? now you Good morning. How are you guys? I'm doing okay. Is Miss Marianne here by any chance? Miss Ali, Marianne Ali. Nice seeing you again. Uh, I have. I'm sorry, am I being recorded? Yes. Oh. Of course, of course. I, you know, like, as always, I'm always, you know, filming when I come in, gathering content for my stories. Sure, sure. Nothing new here. <laughs> so uh, this is not what. I need it, but I do need that. Mm -hmm. um, if you can be also, also kind, and this is a complaint okay. that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, you know, redress my grievances. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, okay. If you could also, do you guys give like stamped copies of that or like anything to me, or you just email me, or like how's that work? Um, I can make you a copy. I can certainly write on there. Okay. If I've received by me. Okay. Does that work for you? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, can you give me a couple a couple more packets? Sure. Looks like I'm going to be needing uh, quite a few because it says, because I noticed on there when you file the complaint, that particular one, it says you could uh, check mark a box okay. that says if you're followed or being harassed mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So sure. that's what's been going on to me. And, okay. I'm, and if I'm still here, I'm not sure how, how long it's going to take, but I'm sure they'll come here as well and prove my point 
Uh, so that's why I'm going to need a couple more. Okay. Because, All right. I'll have you hold on to that because that yes. is for your record. Okay. Awesome. Um, I will make a copy of this. All right. You want who arrested? For doing what? For breaking what law? For what crime have I committed? <laughs> Knocking? Sorry, it got disconnected, not broken. What would you say? Stop walking? No, don't, don't restrict me. Am I being detained or something? All right, for what? Trespassing. Trespass? Hold on, I'm trying to serve them my notice of intent to sue. Are you serious? For what crime? Seriously, what crime was I committed? Trespass. All right. What's your name? Officer K.B. Rayball. Badge number, please. 114. And you're Richard Desbians. Thank you.